The in-vehicle test is a 35-second test to determine the condition of the battery and the vehicle's starting or cranking system, diodes, and charging system. To do the in-vehicle test, follow these steps. Do the setup as in pre-test steps located on page 3 of the operator's manual. Use the up and down arrow keys to select in-vehicle and then press the go key. This displays the choose battery type screen. Do one of the following. If the battery is conventional, flooded lead acid, press the up arrow key. If the battery is AGM, press the down arrow key. This displays the battery's open circuit voltage, or OCV. Press the go key. This displays the select unit screen. Use the down arrow key to select a capacity rating for the test. After selecting a capacity rating, press the go key. This displays a screen for entering the capacity rating. Use the up and down arrow keys and adjust the rating until it matches the rating on the battery's label. Press the go key to begin the test. The screen displays first load on, recovery period, second load on, recovery period, and then working as it applies two medium loads to the battery followed by recovery period. Wait for the screen to display proceed with starting or charging test. Do one of the following. To start the test, press the up arrow key and continue with the next step. To stop the test, press the down arrow key. This displays the battery test results. Start the vehicle's engine and then press the go key. This starts the test and displays the series of screens shown in the next column. Follow the instructions given on the screens to hold the engine RPM at 1500 for 10 seconds and then turn the engine off. The test results display immediately. If the battery and system test is good, the first screen of test results displays the battery test results. These include battery condition. Press the down arrow key to display the next screen. The second screen of test results displays charging system test results, which includes loaded and open circuit or no load voltages. Press the down arrow key to display the next screen. The third screen of test results also displays charging system test results, which includes the condition of the diodes and charging system. Press the down arrow key to display the next screen. The fourth screen of test results displays the charging system test results, which includes the cranking voltage, or voltage during starting, and condition. If you have the printer, optionally print the test results. To end the test and return to the main menu, press the menu key. Select another test, or disconnect the clamps from the battery. Press the off key to turn the tester off. The quick test is a one second test to determine the battery voltage and actual cold cranking amperes. This feature of the Sabre HP enables you to quickly check the charge of several batteries in succession. To do the quick test, follow these steps. Do the pretest setup that we discussed earlier. This displays the main menu on the tester. Use the up and down arrow keys to select quick test and then press the go key. This displays the Choose Battery Type screen. Do one of the following. If the battery is conventional, flooded lead acid, press the up arrow key. If the battery is AGM, press the down arrow key. This displays the battery's open circuit voltage. Press the Go key to begin the test. The screen displays working as it determines the battery's charge. When the test is complete, the screen displays the open circuit voltage and the cold cranking amps. Repeatedly press the down arrow key to change the second line to cranking amps or CA, then ampere hours, AHR, then back to CCA. If you have the printer, optionally print the test results. To end the test and return to the main menu, press the menu key. Select another test or disconnect the clamps from the battery. Press the off key to turn the tester off. The view last test results is a great feature that allows you to quickly access the results of the last test you performed. To view the last test results, follow these steps. If necessary, press the on key to turn the tester on and display the main menu. 
If the tester is already on, press the menu key to display the main menu. Use the up and down arrow keys to select View Last Test and then press the Go key. This displays the test results. If necessary, use the down arrow key to scroll through the test results. If you have a printer, you may print out the test results. To return to the main menu, press the menu key. Select another test or disconnect the clamps from the battery if connected. Press the off key to turn the tester off. Page 13 of the user's manual includes information on the following sections. To set the date and time, follow these steps. Repeatedly press the down arrow key until Utilities shows on the screen and is selected. Then press the Go key. This displays the Utilities menu. Select Set Time or Date and then press the Go key. This displays the Set Date or Time screen. Press the Go key. This displays the Set Year screen. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the year and then press the Go key. Repeat this for each of the next screens that appear for the month, date, hour, and minutes. When you're finished, the display returns to the Utilities menu. Press the Menu key to return to the main menu. The Utilities Edit Header Footer function lets you customize information printed on test results such as shop information or messages to customers. To edit the header and footer, follow these steps. Press the On key to turn the tester on. This displays the main menu. Repeatedly press the down arrow key until Utility shows on the screen and is selected. Then press the Go key. This displays the Utilities menu. Repeatedly press the down arrow key until Edit Header Footer shows on the screen and is selected. Then press the Go key. This displays the Edit Header Footer screen. Do one of the following. To edit header information, press the up arrow key. To edit footer information, press the down arrow key. This displays the edit screen. Enter the desired text as follows. Press and hold down the up arrow key until the desired letter or number appears. After using the up arrow key, you can also use the down arrow key. Press the go key to move to the next space. Repeat these steps until the desired text is entered. When finished, press the menu key twice to return to the main menu. Replacement and optional parts can be ordered directly from SPX. These include the test cables, battery post adapters, and wireless printer. With proper care and maintenance, your Sabre HP 3167EX battery charger analyzer will give you years of dependable service. If you have any questions on the operation of this product, please call 800-533-6127 or contact us at this address.